munitions, now it appears landing on the people of Gaza. These pictures show what is believed to be white phosphorus in the heart of Gaza's neighborhoods. We saw a bright flash of light in the evening and then saw all these sparks fall near us. The sparks were landing all around us and in our homes. Our mattresses caught on fire. On the ground in Jabalia, home to more than 100,000 Palestinians, children unaware of the deadly toxin dropped on them, naively playing with the munitions. As adults look on describing the poisonous effects it has had on them. It's the first time we see this type of weapon. It must be new and it seems like phosphorus. It's suffocating and has a deadly poisonous smell that I'm sure will cause a lot of sickness and disease on all the civilians here. Now, those who've witnessed the attacks are calling on Israel to halt the use of white phosphorus. These people must be brought to justice because they are just killing children and they are just killing women. Who've just, they are innocent, they've done nothing. This is a sort of humiliation of all the international humanitarian law and it's a sort of humiliation of the Geneva Conventions. I mean, and there is no way unless these people should stop this crime immediately in Gaza and they must be brought to justice. I've stood on the border of Gaza watching Jabalia as it's been hammered by white phosphorus over the past few days. It's very clear as you walk by the uh, Israeli 155 millimeter artillery batteries, they're handling American manufactured white phosphorus rounds. They're fused. You don't fuse it unless you're going to use it. And I'm watching as the white phosphorus explodes in air in an airburst situation and comes down and covers the area of the refugee camp. It's not an illegal weapon, so why is Israel not saying that uh, they're using it? I don't really get it. The problem, of course, is that while it's not illegal to use to cause smoke and create a smoke screen, it is illegal to use if you're going to harm a civilian population. And in Israel's war on the densely populated Gaza Strip, it's the civilian population that once again seems to be affected by these munitions that are extremely flammable and can cause life-threatening burns when coming in contact with human skin. As allegations that Israel is using weapons illegally against the civilian population mount, a claim that Israel rejects, there's no doubt that it's the Palestinian people that are continuing to suffer. And there's no sign that the suffering will end anytime soon. Ayman Mohideen Al Jazeera, Gaza. I spoke earlier to uh, the Israeli military spokesperson, Major.